welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, right now in this episode, I'm going to talk about how black single women keep other black single women single. I have a clip. I played this before in one of my other videos, but I'm, I'm making three clips out of this. I want you to hear this woman. This woman begins to understand that she is not the prize and that men are the prize. And then she states her reasons as to why she believes that, why she has her friend pulling her down, trying to keep her from singing the truth. I want you to take note of this, ladies and gentlemen, to see how women are keeping themselves single. Let me go ahead and play the clip for you, gentlemen, right now. I'm starting to feel like the man is really the prize. I don't know why. Hey, hey, hell, girl, no. Yes. I'm starting to feel like men are really the prize literally. because literally, we, literally yeah. as a woman, okay, no. we have where mm. we have to wait on the man for everything. We have no, to wait no, on the no. man. We have to wait. Do you see the pushback? She hasn't even finished her statement yet or her thought. And the woman beside her throwing her hands up in the air and then she wanted to say the other woman say, wait, 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 wait. This is the problem, lady. You are allowing your friends who don't have men to keep you from decent men. You are allowing your girlfriends who can't maintain healthy, functional relationships themselves, who always choose kooky or choose the type of man that is wrong for them. You're allowing them to direct and to advise you when it comes to men. And deep down, you want to be happy. You want to have a good man. A lot of the times is you're being influenced by the wrong people. You have to break away from these hard-headed, long-headed helpers in order for you to be happy. Let's continue. We have to wait on the man for everything. We have no, to wait on the man. We have to wait on the man. We, we, we can date whoever we want, but we can't marry who we want. One of them says, well, step step into the, stepping into the marriage, you have to wait for the man to ask you to marry him. You have to wait for the man to ask you to be his girlfriend. You have to wait for the man to ask you out on a date. All these kind of things we're waiting on a man to do. Like, literally. How about you have multiple? So you're not waiting on I nobody. Did, because most women. You did you hear the whore in the background? Because that is a sluttish, horish mentality. The lady said, after she said, we have to wait for a man to take us out on a date, to ask for marriage, to ask for dates. The woman in the background says, how about you have multiple men so you won't have to wait? That's the reason why you have so many body count. This is why you have so many emotional traumas and baggage because you sleep with a whole bunch of different men. Do not think that men are just going to take you out no matter how many you got and they're not going to expect sex in return. Think about what I'm saying and think about this woman. That other woman who said that you need to have more men, she'll never have a man. Never. That's so yeah. you're not waiting on I nobody. Never did, because most women, you know, they're dating a lot of guys. Exactly. Yeah, but, but they have that one guy that they want who is who don't want them. They're dating all these other guys on the side because they're trying to distract themselves. Oh God, but realistically speaking, they want that one guy who was taking forever to no, claim no. them. That's not how it is. Yes, which I mean, I've I'm always felt women were the prize. You should yeah. know that you are the prize. I've always so felt that way. Well. So Still trying to say that she's the prize, and she looked like a five. Don't even look like a six. The girl beside this other girl said, "Hey, women, you are the prize." All right, if you're the prize, then why is it that men don't want you? If you're such a prize, how come men are not dropping to their knees and struggling to try to make it work with you if you're the prize? If you're the prize, then why are you so single? This type of thinking is what keeps y'all in the gutter. This is what keeps y'all being single. This is what makes y'all into baby mamas instead of wives and mothers. Because, yeah, a man to sleep with you, get you pregnant, and burn off. When they don't see no value in you and that arrogance and i don't know what it is with our race and my color my race my community i hear more about i'm the prize from our women than i do from any other woman of any ethnic group these women are delusional you have nothing to bring to the table except your attitude your past mistakes or your consequences of the past mistakes i.e children from other relationships with previous men let's think about it that's not how it is. Yes, which I mean, I've know. always felt women were a prize. Woman, you should yeah. know that you are the prize. I've always felt that, that way. Well, don't get this it twisted. When you ever. think about it, if you, I'm, I'm just trying to be more realistic, be more open minded in my thinking. That's uh, the reason why I'm saying. Okay. That. Okay. If you're gonna ask the man to marry you, by no. all means, do so. But I'm just saying, like, as far as like waiting for a man to like I'm ask us to be like exclusive. Let, let That's what I'm talking about. Too. Those women are not helping this other woman because they don't want to be helped. They have failed. They don't have a lot of failed relationships. They know damn well that they're not the prize. You are not a prize, ladies, if you have many 
failed relationships. Do you understand? I want you to hear that. You are not a prize if you have failed relationships, especially when you are middle-aged and older. If you, it doesn't matter if you had a relationship for five years, 10 years, it is still a failed one. If you have multiple failed relationships, apparently you are not the prize. You, have a, you do not have enough value to make a man stay with you. You can blame the man all you want, but apparently you wouldn't do what you were supposed to do when it, when it comes to keeping a man either. You are not the prize. Listen to this woman break down what I'm talking about. I don't know who need to hear this, but you need to get away from them so-called friends and family members of yours. Then when they see you trying to change, they getting upset with you. At the end of the day, when they start to see you change, like that woman was in that first clip, she says she's starting to, real, to realize that men are the prize. She was starting to change from that independent, I don't need no man mentality. But her friends, her friends is trying to pull her back, reel her back into that mentality to keep her where she's going to be miserable, single, but always wanting a man, but won't go get one or won't keep one because she got to be the boss deep. She got to be a baddie. See you trying to change, they getting upset with you. At the end of the day, if you trying to change and they not happy that you trying to change your life for the better, that's a big red flag because no one should stay the same. We should always try to involve ourselves for the better. And if people upset because you don't want to do the things you was doing in the past or you want to be around the same spots you used to hang at in the past or you might want to try something new or start a business, whatever you trying to do, whatever your plan is, and people telling you, no, you shouldn't do that or discouraging you, or you know, looking up, looking upon you bad because you won't change in your life. That's a those are not your friends. A lot of y'all are deceived by women that you call your day ones, your ace boom coons, and all this stuff like that. Women who do not women who don't want other women to do better or to be happy are your enemies. Anyone who wishes you harm mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually is not your friend. They are your enemies. I don't care how many clubs you go out with to them. I don't care how many clubs you go to with them. I don't care how many good times and good memories you have that you share with them. If they are not pushing you to move forward or pushing you to change in a way that can make you happy individually, they are not your friends. And most likely they are jealous of you and they are cowards because they are too cowardly to make the changes that you see that you need to make. You know, looking, up, looking upon you bad because you want to change in your life. That's a big red flag. I'm not your friends. Like in the day, you gotta be careful of them type of people. Them the type of people who stagnant and they can be jealous of you because you wanna make better of your life. They want you to be right where they get. They want you to keep you down right along with them because they don't wanna make no change. They don't wanna do no better. And they scared if you might make a change. You might leave them behind and pick up some new people on your way to your change. So you gotta be real. It is okay to leave people behind. Life is about leaving people behind. You cannot bring everyone with you. Okay? Understand this. All this, I want to stay true to my hood, true to my family, true to my friends is a bunch of bullshit. Life is never made, was never designed for you to bring everyone with you. When you die, you don't bring no one with you. You go by yourself. You're born into this world by yourself. You make relationships along the way. You have people who take care of you along the way as a mother and a father does his child. But really, you are not designed to bring everyone with you to every level of success or every level of growth and maturity that you will experience in life. Everyone is not meant to be with you. Some people are meant to be stepping stones. Some people are meant to be lessons. Some people are meant to be examples of what not to do, of how not to live. Get this out of your mind. The only people that you're supposed to be really close to as you get older is your husband, your children, your wife. Listen, women, the only one you're supposed to really be close to when you get into a grown woman is your husband and your children's. I'm sorry, your husband and your children. Yes, you have your mother, your in-laws, cool. But that's a different level, a different phase of your life that you once lived. A new phase is that you are married. Stop trying to bring everybody along with you. Worry about your damn selves. Real careful for them type of people, man. If they not, if you in a group of people that's not happy about your change, your success, you better get up and run. That's a big red flag. You know, you will be lost in the sauce dealing with them type of people because they don't have.
ambitious. They not. They don't have goals. They don't have drive. They don't have motivation. And they'll keep you right at the bottom, right along with them. Free game, y'all. She is telling you the truth. People who do not change do not have any ambition. That was one of the problems I had with one of my women that I used to date back in the day. A lack of ambition. Without ambition, you can never be successful. But let me put you on secret game. Listen to me now. Ambition is a talent. Not everyone has it. You understand? This is why you can put people in situations that will benefit them. If you put all the opportunities in the world for them to do better and they won't take advantage of it because they do not have the talent of ambition. Just like a person can have a talent to sing a cappella, sound beautiful, sound like an angel, sound like an opera singer. And then other people cannot do that because they was not born with that talent. Talent, ambition is talent. A lot of people don't think of it that way, but it is. That's why you have multi-talented people who do multi-talented things. They have, you got people who run businesses, who can sing and act and, and can paint. They have ambition to want to try these things and see if they're going to be good at it. It's talent. Talent without ambition does not exist. Well, let me know what you think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all take it easy now, you hear?